The history of the piano. The history of the piano. Focus question: How have the keyboard instruments in this book changed over time? Early keyboards. The piano is perhaps the world's best-known musical instrument. Its sound is easy to recognize, no matter what type of music is being played. The piano did not always sound that it does today, though. <coughs> In fact, the piano ancestors had very different sounds. The first widely used keyboard was the clavichord. The European instrument was first used in the 1400s. As with many other early instruments, its inventor is unknown. It was a long wooden box with wire strings of different lengths stretched inside. A soundboard lay beneath the strings. The soundboard vibrates with the strings and help project the tones. A clavichord could be 122 to 213 centimeters long. People set it on the on a table to play it. When a player pressed a key, a tiny brass blade on a wooden lever hit a string. This made a tone. How loud the tone was depended on how hard. The player pressed the key. Still, because of this,、uh, its design, the clavichord was not very loud. For that reason, people only played the instruments in homes. Do you know? The first known instrument with a keyboard was by ancient Greeks. It was called a hydrolulus. Hydrolulus. It used water to push air through different sized pipes to create sound. The harp shell. Keyboard was first used in the 1500s. It came in different shapes and sizes that looked very much like today's pianos. However, it worked differently from both clavichord and the piano. When the pl- player pressed a key, a lever with a quill end at the end plucked, rather than struck a string. This made it sound more like a harp than a piano. The harp keyboard. Was the most popular keyboard instrument of its day. It was louder than a clavichord, but it had a problem. Players could not control or change the volume, no matter how hard or soft they pressed the keys. Wordwise, many instrument names have Greek and Latin roots. The hydrolus got its name from the Greek root word hydro, meaning water. The word clavichord comes from the Latin root clavi, clavis, meaning key, and chorda, meaning string. Can you figure out where the word harpsichord comes from? The first modern piano, Bartolomeo Cristofori, made keyboard instruments in the early 1700s. He wanted to change the harp C chord so the volume could be controlled. To to do so to do this, a Christopher has to make the instrument work more like a a clavichord. The strings needed to be hit, not plucked. A Christopher changed the mechanism of the instruments and how it worked. First. Has switched from a quill to a hammer. The hammer was covered in leather to create a better sound. When the player pressed the key, the hammer hit the strings from below. And when the player released the key, another part, called a damper, came down to rest on the string. The damper stops the string from vibrating and ended the note. This design made it possible to hit strings hard or touch with. I touched them gently. Players could now produce both loud and soft notes. Cristofori called his instruments the pianoforte, a name made of the Italian word for soft and loud. In time, the name became just piano. Other instruments makers added to Cristofori's design. One, a German named、um, Sil- Silberman. Showed his version of the piano to the famous composer、uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach had written many pieces for the 
Harp C twelve and didn't think much of Silverman's instruments. This made Silverman so upset that he destroyed with an X. Pianos everywhere. It took a while for European musicians to accept the piano. In time, though, a uh, birch grew to like the instruments. Other famous composers, such as Haydn and Mozart, Mozart wrote many pieces of piano. By the late 1700s, Europeans wanted to hear more piano music. Changes made to pianos improved their sound in big music halls. The hammers were covered in felt instead of leather. The softer felt created a rich, warm tone. Keyboards also grew from 15 to 4 keys to 88. Wing-shaped grand pianos become longer and larger to provide space for the added strings. Metal soundboards uh, pl- replaced wooden ones and gave tones upper sound. Uh, England's VS Elephants Years ago, a person who could play the piano was said to tickle the invoris. That's because wooden piano keys were once covered in ivory for elephant tusks. As a result, countless elephants died. Today, it was illegal, illegal to use I- ivory. Piano keys are now in- covered in plastics. At first, all pianos were grand pianos. By the 19th century, however, pianos were very popular in Europe and North America. To keep up with demand, companies began making smaller, less and expensive pianos. More people were then able to buy pianos that fit in their homes. Women and the Piano In the 19th century, women was encouraged to play the piano. The idea was not to turn them into performers, but rather into wives. Women with musical ability were considered refined and charming. Knowing how to play the piano also made it possible for women to give lessons. Becoming a piano teacher let women earn their own money at the time when such opportunities were remitted. As more and more pianos were sold, people began to play different types of piano music. For example, American, Amer- African-Americans sang and played gospel songs on the piano. They also began experimenting with new styles of music. This led to birth for ragtime, a jazzy form of music written just for the piano. Modern versions. When recorded music came along in the early 20th century, piano sales dropped. People could listen to piano music in their homes without having to own or play a piano. Piano makers came up with a new way to make pianos more attractive to buyers. They had they built self-played pianos. They playing pianos. These instruments had a mechanical divide that was pumped by foot pedals at the bottom of the piano. They did they, they divide held rolls of paper. Holes punched in the paper rolls caused notes on the piano to play by themselves when the pedals were pumped. Anyone could now play the piano. No lessons needed. A digital versions of self-playing pianos appeared in the 1000, uh, 1980s. A person could choose an electronic file, then press a button. The piano keys would move on their own while the music played. This digital piano could also be played like a regular piano. The, 80, uh, the 88 keys were weighted to feel just like those on a regular piano. A digital piano sounds and feels like a piano but is lighter and cheaper. By contract, the keys of digital keyboards are not weighted. The most popular size will, have, will only has 61 keys. However, those keyboards are light, sturdy, and easy to move from place to place. Some traveling bands use them. Many digital keyboards can produce sounds of other instruments, such as a trumpet or flute. Some keyboards can make sound effects, such as a chirping bird, with just a touch of a key.
The crystal fairy will be amazed at the sounds coming from the newest versions of his invention. Whether it's a digital keyboard or a concrete screen, so the piano remains one of the most popular instruments around.